the bold and unapologetic Pastor Greg Locke taking aim at CNN uh, after a back and forth went on between these two. We're going to get into all the details of what went down. Off the top, guys, let me mention, if you would like to make a generous donation here to our ministry, the links to do so are down below as we are demonetized here on YouTube. They don't support Christian conservative content creators like myself. We have PayPal or Patreon for you below or even just five bucks a month on Patreon. Get you bonus content. Also, we include the links for the YouTube videos to make sure you get alerted every time new content arrives. Then when you're there, you can just comment on the video censorship free. Avoid YouTube blocking and hiding the comments that you guys write. Also, make sure you go sub to me on Rumble. That's our backup in case we're kicked off of YouTube. We're already posting there, so go check us out. What we got going on over there. All those links are down below then please like this video share it hit the bell subscribe and wear the glasses because i'm blind so pastor greg Locke, uh yeah he's not a big fan of cnn and they're not a big fan of him now well we know exactly why now all of this started cnn over the weekend showing a clip from pastor greg Locke's service global vision bible church there in tennessee and Locke was talking to his congregation i mean i i told you guys before he had said no more face diapers in this church. He said, if you're caught wearing one of these things, you're out of here. You're not welcome in this church if you come in here wearing one of those things on your face. So this past Sunday service, he's talking about the jab. He's telling everybody, and I'll put the clip below. You guys can watch it. He's telling everybody, do not get the jab. Do not get the jab. Okay, He is going off about this giving his you know unapologetic opinion he says i don't care i'm not saying this to get more followers on social media you know i don't i don't need the hand clap i don't need the adulation all of that i'm telling you guys this because this is what i know to be true he took aim at joe biden and said that his days as president are numbered the guy went off now cnn playing this and saying this was extremely harmful because he was encouraging people not to get the jab. And this could, you know, effectively make more people sick. And yes, and even in some cases, some people could die because of the harmful words that Pastor Greg Locke was talking about. And then CNN had talked about an interview that they had scheduled with Locke back in May and said that it was Pastor Locke who canceled that interview and said that it was God who told him to cancel the interview because, well, he had felt sick to his stomach prior to doing the interview with CNN at the church and that he had called the uh, the CNN crew there diabolic Jezebels then because they wouldn't leave. Locke said that, well, they're the ones that canceled the interview, that it wasn't him. He did, in fact, call them liars because of what they were saying here, called them evil, called them wicked, and yes, said that they will all burn in hell at CNN with the rest of the liars because of their actions, because they are not willing to tell the truth. They said that Pastor Greg Locke has been on a campaign of misinformation for the better part of the last year. Now, Locke responded to all of this in a series of tweets, like I said, that went back and forth with CNN, taking aim at them. And a lot of people think that he's too harsh or he's too you know, he's too upfront about the way he feels about things. Look, you know what? There's a lot of pastors out there that are so weak and timid that they're not willing to tell you where you're going to go if you don't repent of your sin. That's the fact. I mean, I've been covering this now. I've been doing this for five years. And if anything, we've seen pastors get more timid, not more bold. We need more people like Greg Locke to tell the truth. Look, CNN can have redemption. I mean, for their journalists, all of them, they can't. They have to repent. They have to come to Jesus Christ, but it doesn't seem like they are willing to do that. So what he's saying here is not wrong. I mean, I mean, if you are, if you are with sin, if you've not accepted Christ, you will be eternally separated from him. And if you're not in heaven, there's only one other place you're going to be. And it's exactly where Pastor Greg Locke said they were going to go. So... And again, that might be harsh for some, but you know what? That is the truth. So I respect his boldness on this. The fact that he is willing to fight for what he believes in, to speak his mind, to tell the truth about what is going on. And if that hurts people's feelings, well, I guess that's just too bad. Because in this day and age we live in, where time is certainly running out and Jesus is coming back soon, we don't have time 
to sit around and worry about crafting something that'll be nice for people to be able to hear so it won't hurt their feelings. CNN is an evil organization. He's completely right about that. Trump had it right a long time ago with what he said about not just CNN, but the rest of the media. The enemy of the American people. This is why we do these videos. We talk about the prophetic news headlines that are going on around the world because we are in the last days. Jesus is coming back soon. And I mentioned earlier, you can have redemption. That only comes through Jesus Christ and accepting him as Lord and Savior. This is your chance to do that right now. And how you do that is by first acknowledging that you're a sinner. We all are. But God gave his son Jesus Christ to die on the cross for the sins of all the world. He died and rose again for you and me. He has paid the cost. Now what you have to do is you have to repent of your sins. And repent means to turn from that sin, not just to say you're sorry. You have to actively turn from lifestyles, habits, whatever it is in your life that's counter to what the Word of God says. You ask Jesus to forgive you, he'll wipe that sin away. The Bible says he won't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. And I pray you make that decision today. I'll put all those clips for you guys down below if you would like to check them out. Pastor Greg Locke. And don't forget the links to donate to our ministry are there as well. It is a great blessing if you can help us out. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.